Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as some of you might know, I've been working from home a good bit for the last few months because I changed jobs. When I started working from home, I got an office desk and an office chair. So that's where I'm sitting now, and this space behind me is generally where I'd be sitting when I'm working. So this is why my setup looks like this today. Aside from my desk and my chair, I got a couple of other little bits for my home office setup that have just made my life so much easier since I've been working from home. So I wanted to make this video just to take you guys through some of the things that I got just to really improve my working from home and my home office setup. So I'm gonna leave a link to everything that I talk about in this video in the description down below. And just one other thing to mention, this video is not sponsored by anybody. All of the things that I show you guys in this video are things that I bought with my own money just to make my life easier and I just wanted to make this video about them in the hopes that anybody else who is looking for a good home office setup that this video might help them. So first up let's talk about some of the gear that I've been using in my home office setup. Firstly I've been using my own personal laptop for work since I've been working from home so that is this 2018 MacBook Pro and this is the laptop that I've been using to do all of my editing and everything that I do on my YouTube channel. So now I'm just using it for work as well. And to make using this laptop much more comfortable while I'm at my desk, I got this laptop stand here. And this is from a company called Nulixi. So it's like Galaxy, but NU. And this is it here. So I got this in space gray because that is the color of my laptop and this thing is brilliant. It's just, it sits at a really comfortable height on the desk when you're using your laptop. Without the stand, I'm sitting over the desk and I'm sitting over my laptop and like my neck is bent and I'm craned and like that's fine when you're working for a little while, but when you're working for like an eight hour day solidly at your desk, just typing away or like dealing with emails or editing, or whatever it is you might be doing, that's not great. And it's really like, it's bad for your shoulders, it's bad for your neck, it's bad for your posture. And it does like, in my, like before I started working from home, I wasn't at my desk all the time. So what that meant is that like when I started working from home, like those long stints at my desk, I was starting to feel like a lot of tightness and discomfort in my back and shoulders. So this just sort of took care of that overnight. It just means that the laptop is at an elevated height and it's just so much more comfortable to work on at this height. And yeah, it just means that I can sit here all day and I'm not putting any strain on my neck or my back and it's just much, much more comfortable. The next thing that I wanna talk about on the stand I think is really good is just the way it comes. So it doesn't come in a big box and it doesn't come like this. It actually comes disassembled. So it just comes in three pieces. Very, very simple to put together. This just slots in here and same with the other side. And that's all the stand is. Once you've got that, it takes that long to assemble it and disassemble it. You just put it on your desk, put the laptop in and you're good to go. Like that is literally all the setup that this thing takes. So it's really, really good. And what I really like about it is you saw how easy it is to assemble. You also just saw how easy it is to disassemble. And what's great about that is if for any reason you find that you don't need the laptop stand for a while or that you just say like this room, for example, is our spare bedroom as well as our office. So if we had people coming over to stay, you can just take all this down, you can disassemble the stands, put everything away. And they don't take up any space. So it just, it, it goes really neat when it's disassembled, which means that it just takes up so much less space in the room and in the house when you don't need it. So I just think that's really, really handy that you can store it that way. One other thing that I think is really important about this stand is it's actually kind of heavy. So when your laptop is sitting in it, it's really sturdy and then it's got like uh, pads on the base of it. So like it doesn't move, like I'm really shaking it and the whole desk is shaking there, but the stand itself isn't moving at all. It's really sturdy. So like I'm confident that when I've got my laptop in the stand, it's not going anywhere. When I got this stand, I got it on Amazon and it was 29.99 pounds sterling. So that's UK sterling, 29.99. So it's a really cheap stand, but it's a really solid, good stand. Another really nice little feature of the stand is it has these holes here 
And what I really like about them is they're great for cable management. So this is the charger for my laptop and I can just wrap that through like that. And it means that when I have my laptop sitting here, I can have the cable just wrapped through the leg of the stand and it means that it doesn't fall out, it doesn't go anywhere. It means that when I need to plug in my laptop, I don't have to go rooting for the cable. It's just always there. And yeah, that's just a handy little feature that I really like and I make use of that all the time. And then in terms of color, this stand's available in two colors. So this one is space gray and it's also available in silver and that's actually the color that Elaine got. And this is Elaine's stand here. So you can see color difference. Mine is just a bit darker than hers. And the reason I went for the space gray is because that's the color of my laptop. So it means that the stand matches my laptop and it's the same. Elaine has the silver MacBook Pro and her stand matches her laptop. So like these stands are cheap, so it's not 100% match to the color, but it's very, very close. And for the cost of the stand, I'm not gonna worry about the fact that it's not an absolute 100% match to the color that Apple make the MacBooks. But it is really, really nice and it just does fit in with the whole style of the laptop and it just means that it looks really well when your laptop is sitting on your desk. Really small thing, purely cosmetic, but it's a nice little touch. Okay, so that's all the stuff that I really like about the stand. Now it's time to talk about some of the things that I don't like about it. And I say some of the things, but actually there's really only one negative that I've encountered with this stand and I haven't even encountered it. It was something that Elaine discovered with her work laptop. So she has an older laptop that she uses for work and it has a big battery pack on the bottom of it down here. So when she sits her laptop on the stand, it doesn't quite sit right and it doesn't sit flat on the stand. Generally, it's fine. So long as these lips here come up and cover the front of the laptop, it's okay. But if you put the laptop kind of as flat down as possible, the front of it with the big battery pack will stick up over the lips. It just means that it can slide forward off the stand. So that's not great. It's something to be aware of, but I don't think it's a deal breaker for being able to use this stand. Like Elaine uses her stand every day, Monday to Friday, and she never has any issues with it when she's using it. The next thing that was really important for me to get once I started using my laptop in the stand was a wireless keyboard. So the wireless keyboard that I got was this one from Jellycomb. This cost me again, 29.99 sterling on Amazon. And I really like it. So I suppose the only thing from an aesthetic point of view is this is white and not space gray or silver like the rest of my setup. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a really, really nice keyboard to use. The base of it is metal and this round area here, this is where I think most of like the Bluetooth connectivity and the battery and all live. So when this sits on the desk, there's a nice weight in that. It doesn't move. It doesn't slide around when you're typing. You can type away. I tend to like machine gun type and I'm really heavy on it. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't move by accident. It's really, really sturdy and really secure when you're using it. So from that point of view, it's class. So probably the best thing about this keyboard is the battery life. I got this thing a couple of months ago and when I got it, I turned it on, I paired it up to my laptop and I just started using it. I charged this for the first time yesterday. So I've gotten probably about two months, minimum a month and a half out of this keyboard without ever having to charge it. And I don't know that it was fully charged when I got it. So. With that in mind, I would have to say the battery life on this thing is amazing. Just to charge it, you get a, it's a micro USB port in here and it just plugs into the USB port on your computer and it charges. So I left it plugged in for an hour and a half and that charged it fully. I don't expect to have to charge this again for months. Elaine has almost the same keyboard and I think she's charged hers like three times in about a year. So like the battery life on these things is incredible. I've never had anything with a rechargeable battery that lasts as long as this thing does. You can also use the keyboard while you're charging it. So that's great. It just means that you plug it in and it's like a wired keyboard then until it's fully charged and then you're wireless again, but you don't lose any functionality while it's charging. Another thing that I really, really like about this keyboard is that it directly connects to my laptop through Bluetooth. I don't need to use a dongle or anything like that. It just connects to the Bluetooth in my laptop and the two of them work seamlessly. In order to connect it, there's a little switch here. I just flick it on. 
wait for a couple of seconds and it connects. And then this just takes over typing and like the laptop just recognizes that this is the keyboard that I want to use. Equally, as soon as I start typing on the laptop's existing keyboard, it picks up from that. So there's no distinction between using this keyboard or this keyboard when I'm typing away. Really, really good. And it's really easy to pair up to my laptop as well. I had no difficulty with it. I just turned it on, searched for it on the Bluetooth and the laptop, and it was there. I connected and I haven't needed to think about it since. Another thing that's great about this keyboard is that it's designed to be compatible with Mac and with Windows. So what I really like about it is it means that I have a command button as well. So for anyone who uses a Mac, you will know how important the command button is. It's not a button that you have on a Windows machine. So this has a dedicated command button on it, which is really, really nice. But equally, it has all of the keys that you would use for a Windows laptop as well. And very quickly, this is a Lanes keyboard. So it looks almost identical to mine. The only difference is she doesn't have that command button on hers. Now, this keyboard does work with her MacBook and with her work PC, and she has assigned a key that will work on her MacBook as the command function. So like there's ways around it if you get the one that isn't specifically for Mac, but just having the specific Mac one, I think is just really, really handy. So now I'll talk about some of the cons with this keyboard. I don't have an awful lot of negative things to say about it, but the one thing that I've noticed is when I am typing, for some reason, when I hold down the shift key to create a caps and I press the T key, it often doesn't respond. I've no idea why that is. And it seems to just be the T key. Any other keys, I hold down shift, press the key, it gives me a capital letter. With the T, I kind of have to do it a couple of times and then it comes in. Uh, it catches me out quite regularly when I'm typing. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to be an issue with the key itself because there's no, like it's not sticking. And when I don't hold down shift, it's not a problem. I think it might be just something is glitching when I hold down the two keys, but it's only on the T key that I've discovered it. And yeah, it's not a big problem because always the second time it works then. So it's almost like it has to wake up and recognize that you want the capital T. Really weird quirk that it seems to have, but anyway, I'm throwing it in as a negative. And the only other downside to this keyboard is that in order to get an at symbol or inverted commas, so the keyboard says that the inverted commas is on the two key and that the at symbol is on the comma key just to the left of the enter on the right. And the issue with that is if I hold down shift and press the key to get an at symbol, that gives me the inverted commas. And equally, if I hold down shift and the two key, that's how I get the at symbol. So it's just the two symbols on the keyboard don't line up. And the reason for that is that's how it's configured on a Mac, whereas on a PC keyboard, that's where those keys would be. So that's the only real problem with that. Again, not a big deal because I'm aware of it. And 90% of the time now when I'm looking for the at symbol, I do press shift two and not the button that actually has the at symbol on it. But Sometimes it does still catch me out occasionally and I, I roll my eyes, but not a big deal. Again, I'm looking for bad things to say about this and there's not really a lot. Again, for the price of it, I would highly recommend this keyboard if you're looking to get a wireless keyboard for your home office setup. Okay, and the last part of my home office setup that was really important for me to get was a wireless mouse because I just, I didn't like having to reach up and use the trackpad all the time when it was in the middle, you're kind of stretching forward. It's just not comfortable. So I've got a mouse, sits to the right of my keyboard and works just like any other mouse. So this mouse is from a company called Infic and it was 12.99 UK sterling on Amazon. And again, really good little mouse. So what's different about this mouse to the stand and the keyboard is this is all plastic. So it does kind of have a cheapier feel compared to like the keyboard feels much more premium. So does the stand. The mouse feels kind of like it's cheap plastic, but it's a really good mouse. And the thing that I really liked about this mouse is that it has three Bluetooth frequencies that it will connect to your laptop with. So it has 2.4 gigahertz, it has Bluetooth 3.0 and Bluetooth 5.0. So I connect directly to my laptop using the Bluetooth 5.0. So I don't need to worry about a dongle or plugging anything in. And the reason I raise that is this is a Lanes mouse here and this is a Jellycomb mouse that she got with her keyboard. I deliberately didn't get this one 
because I didn't want to have to plug in a USB because my MacBook doesn't have the proper USB ports. I didn't want to have to have a dongle plugged into my MacBook all the time when I'm working from home. So she has to have the USB dongle plugged into her laptop in order to use this mouse with it. Whereas my mouse will just connect to my laptop completely wirelessly. But if you have an older laptop that doesn't have compatibility with this mouse, they do give you a USB dongle that you can plug in. So you can use the dongle if you need to, but if you don't, you don't have to. So what's great about that is it means that this mouse will pretty much connect to any laptop that has a USB port. So it's completely compatible with everything that should be on the market now. So if you have an older laptop, this is gonna work with it. Equally, if you have a brand new laptop, this is gonna work with it. So I really, really like that about this mouse. Another thing that I like about this mouse is it's very ergonomic. So it's just, it feels really comfortable in your hand when you're using it on your desk. And then lastly, the battery life on the mouse is decent. I have had to charge this a good few times now. I think I charge this roughly every 10 days. So not bad going. Again, it doesn't take long to charge micro USB into the mouse and then just into the USB port on your laptop and it just charges. You can use the mouse while you're charging it. And then the only negative that I have with this mouse is it goes to sleep quite regularly when it's not in use. And that's just to preserve battery life and that is a good thing. But my criticism of that is just how long it takes to come back to life. So for example, if this goes to sleep when you're using it and you move it, nothing will happen. You have to click one of the buttons in order for it to wake up. And then once it's woken up, to me, it feels like an eternity. It's probably like only a second, but it feels like it takes a really long time before it wakes up and starts working again. And then once it starts working again, you have it for as long as you need it. But it is just, the only thing that I don't like about it is just that delay or that feeling of delay when it goes to sleep and you need to wake it back up again. It doesn't immediately come alive the way, say for example, an Apple Magic Mouse does or the Apple Magic Trackpad where it doesn't feel like there's any lag when you use those. But with this, there is. In saying that, this was 12 dollars and like an Apple Magic Trackpad is like 100 or 120 euro or something like that. So like huge difference in price. I can't expect it to perform at the same levels that they do and I shouldn't. Again, I'm looking for things to criticize this for. That's the only one I can come up with. Everything else, I think this is a really great purchase. All right, so that's it. That is my review of my home office tech. I would highly, highly recommend any of these three items to anyone who's looking to just improve their home office setup. I think the stand is excellent. The keyboard works exactly as you need a keyboard to work. Same goes for the mouse. It just works exactly as you would expect a mouse to work on your computer and yet as much as I like all these things they all have a couple of little things that like annoy me or whatever but to be honest it's not enough to put me off recommending them I think these three are great buys for anyone in their home office okay so that's all I'm gonna say about these for now I hope you've liked this video and um, if you want to see more videos like this just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video